Hi Tim, uh, so this is to uh, help you fix your uh, your part here. Your question was that when you change uh, the length of your rod, that it changes, uh, makes some, uh, create some errors. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's change that from 200 mm, let's maybe make that 400 and see what that looks like. And um, what it looks like is uh, pretty ugly. I'm certain it's not your intent. The end fillet failed over here, and uh, you know this uh, part over here, which you really want to be on the end here, because you have some fixed sketch relationships in there, it's not going to let you do it. It's going to want to become fixed, and the other elements are going to become flexible to it, make it uh, really ugly. If you right-click in that sketch five and try to fix it here, and uh, yeah, it it just doesn't look very good. Lots of yellows and red. So for you to delete some of these uh, fixed relationships in here. We could probably fix some of these, but I think we're going to have to back this up a little bit, and um, since that sketch is not really what we want, kind of far from the truth, let's go ahead and do Control Z a couple times, and get back to where we were before, let's see if we can make some changes to that, so right click and Sketch 5, let's get rid of these, these fixed sketch relations are, are dangerous, I mean, they have their applications if you want to create a fixed relationship before you fully define something else, maybe temporary, or if you have uh, some curved surfaces that you want to fix to uh, space, that's okay. But if you want your model to be flexible with design tables and configurations, you can't use these. It, it'll get you in trouble every time. Okay, so we do have a couple things here. We have a, uh, an arc and a circle that seem to be uh, coincident with uh, these arcs, especially this arc. And they can't conflict, or they will begin to conflict if we uh, try to provide some sort of dimension for this uh, straight sketch line here, like mine is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these, that arc, or that circle, and this arc, and we're going to go ahead and redefine this. That's got a tangent to, uh, to that edge of the rod, which is okay. We're going to make these two tangent to each other. We're going to make these two tangent to each other. We're still going to maintain that... Uh, you know, that symmetric relationship with the elements in the bottom, so those change too. Now we're going to put in our circle in here, and then independent of that, we want to make sure that they're independent, we want to put in that arc. Oops. It's a little pony line again. We're going to put in that arc that we also want to make independent here. So with this arc, we're going to make these two uh, tangent to each other. This arc in a circle, let's make those uh, concentric. And all we need is a dimension from that arc to that line, and that's going to be, we'll make that uh, maybe 100 for now. Oops, not 400. 100. Now let's take that dimension, make the leader a maximum leader length so we can see, you know, that's really the dimension we want. And probably 100 is a little bit too much, maybe 90 would be okay. Okay, a couple additional things. Maybe you want to make these two arcs uh, equal to each other. That way, that 60 degree dimension, when they're equal to each other, is going to have a uh, it's going to have a, an arc length of uh, a radius of uh, 30 millimeters. So that's okay. So that locks that into place, and this just needs to be in the, uh, needs to be dimensioned. So maybe 20 millimeters for that. And if we go ahead and rebuild it, everything should be in uh, pretty good shape. And then fill it because we redefined some of these lines. It wants us to redefine some of these edges. So let's go ahead and click on that edge and delete that. Let's see if there's any more edges we need to delete in here. There's that edge, it uh, says it needs to be redefined. But I think we're okay. If we did a uh, tangent propagation, I think we got everything selected here. So green check mark, and we're in pretty good shape. So now when we click on this, I'm going to make that uh, 400 instead of 200, and rebuild. Now we're in pretty good shape. It's flexible and not fixed.